What's with this? I know I've seen this somewhere. It's an air crane. Huh. There's one even out here. It's not putting out any air, though. Maybe it's what's left over when they dry up. This area doesn't seem desolate enough for that, though. Everyone be on your guard. Oh, man! Th there it is again! We're up on this rock, right? We'll be fine. Or not. How did 
did he? You're right! How the hell did he pull that off? Hey, is he alive? Hey, guys. Sorry we're late. Traffic was awful. You doing all right? Yeah, of course. All right, let's pay this guy back double for all those knocks you took. We're gonna do this together this time. Thanks! I'll finish it this time! Do it! Let's finish him off! You're being too easy on the kid! We are Brave Vesperia!
I'm not done yet. Yeah. Yeah. Don't try to do everything alone. That's the logical outcome. We did it! You idiot! What were you thinking doing that alone? Carol! Carol! Hey, Carol! Come on, keep it together, kid. He's all right. Once he calmed down, it all went out of him. He's just passed out. <sighs> this kid. What if you checked out before we even rescued him? Cut him a little slack now. Facing down challenges like that is part of becoming a man. Not to mention he saved our butts. Yeah, we would have been lunch without Carol. <clears throat> Facing down challenges. Exactly. Those times when you just know you can't turn tail and run. Hell, everybody has those moments at least once in their life. Let's get out of here quickly. Carol's weak. This can't be good for him. Right. I owe you one, boss. That was very impressive. Carol, why'd you have to go and be a hero? Seriously, when is that kid gonna learn to be a good boy and act his age? <laughs> I've never seen him show courage like that. I swear I lost a year off my life just watching him. Well, we almost lost our entire lives, so we owe him one. But that was just crazy. Absolutely crazy. I know. We have to watch him and make sure he doesn't do anything crazy again. Yeah, I'm through losing precious years of my life to that boy's antics. They're actually agreeing for once. We all share a pride in what Carol did for us, each in our own way. <laughs> It just comes a little easier for some of us. There's a nasty one! Ooh, scary, scary! Here comes a new spell! Rocky Ball! <laughs> The secret of my strength is a secret.
nothing personal. Let's go. Stronger and stronger. This enemy doesn't look so nice. Get ready for anything. We show no mercy to enemies. We just rip them apart. There's a nasty one. Ooh, scary, scary. <laughs> Still, I'll make this quick. Was I a little hard on you? Can I exit to anybody else? Tired already? We old folks lack stamina. Judith, be a dear and take him for a spell. Oh, I wouldn't dream of stealing your job from you. Carol, you're awake, aren't you? No, I'm not. Ugh. Wow, Carol, you're really good at pretending to be asleep. Forcing a poor old man to work in this cold. Mr. Carroll, you're made of tougher stuff than I might have guessed. Feeling better, Carol? Yeah. We were really worried about you. Me too. You didn't look that worried to me. Really? That's weird. <clears throat> Just never do that again, okay? We're all in this together. Okay. Mind telling me what's so funny? Hey, easy, Yuri. I was just remembering something the Dawn said. 
Take care of your friends and they'll be there when you need them. Was that it? Yeah. I was thinking maybe this is the kind of thing he meant. Well, if you feel like you understand what he said, I'm sure you're on the right track. I hope so. All right, the exit's right in front of us. Let's go. Everything all right? Yeah. I was just thinking that maybe all the ice here was made by the air. The ice? From the air? Well, if all things are made up of air, that would make sense. The air crene here was actually quite stabilized. Enough for a monster to control it. Maybe, if huge quantities of air could be made solid, it would help stabilize things. You mean something like that could restore the air imbalance and stop the disturbances? I'm not sure. It would probably need to be more efficient, and it would take a lot more air. It sure would be awesome if we could do that, though. So, you want to stay here and research this air crene? No, there isn't time for that. Yeah, and we've already burned enough time here as it is. Let's go. Estelle, please be okay. <sighs> Once we're out of here, let's ask somebody about what's happening in the capital. Sure thing. If we want news of the situation in the capital, wouldn't going to Halur be the safest bet? Good call. Not only do they have a barrier, we can rest while we're there. Well, some shut-eye sounds good to me. Well, if that's that, then let's get moving. I'm damn near frozen to the bone as it is. I'm just getting started. I feel like an easy win. One shot. Done. Sure you're all right after your little one-man crusade? Huh? Uh, I guess. I mean, I feel okay for now. How unlike you to worry about Carol, Rita. It's not that I'm worried about him, I... We can't show up with injuries when we're going to rescue a princess who has to heal everybody. Yeah, that's what I meant. If you say so. Don't just stand there whining. Hold still. I'll make this quick. That's over. Ha! Risky man! Ha! 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 Ha
We're done. There sure are a lot of people here. They're refugees from the capital. See how they're all well-dressed? It looks like there's nothing unusual with the barrier here for now. <sighs> Carol, are you okay? Looks like he ain't okay at all. He's got a bad fever. He really overexerted himself. All because he had to go and be a hero. I swear. Yuri. Huh? Oh, sorry. Let's go to the inn so that Carol can rest. It's actually nice to be back. Oh. It all started with trying to recover that aquablastia. Couldn't have guessed then we'd be heading out on a trip that spanned the globe. <coughs> Don't worry, Rapide. I'm the same guy now that I was then. It isn't me. It's the situation that's changed. Yeah. It's just a new set of circumstances. Hello, and welcome to Denabola Inn. Don't worry about paying. Huh? Why? Probably because we don't look like we have any money. 
Well, you see, an important official is visiting the mayor's house right now, and it's by his orders. The government's handling the money for the inn so that anyone can stay here for free. That must be for all the refugees that have come to the town. Circumstances being what they are, it takes the fun out of it. But our business is booming thanks to all the visitors to our town. Sounds like a good deal for the Empire. So does that mean you don't have any vacancies? You're in luck. I have one room that's not taken. <laughs> then I'll take that room, thank you. Hey there, no cutting in line. Of course, I wouldn't think of not paying. I'll pay ten times the regular price. I'll also give the same amount to you travelers. That should settle things nicely, yes? You son of a- Oh, I'm so sorry. I took another look at the register, and it seems that I don't actually have any vacancies. So sorry. Come again. What?! I knew this town was in the sticks, but this is- Honey, let's just go on to Heliord from Nor Harbor. Well said. I should be thankful we don't soil our clothing in a filthy little hovel like this. We're gonna be in for a nasty surprise when they try to go to Port Nor. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting. Your room is upstairs, in front. What? But you said there weren't any vacancies. Business is business, right? Yes, don't worry about it. I can't stand people like that. And wasn't it you who saved Halur's tree? This is the least I can do. Enjoy your stay. All those refugees. The capital must be in a sorry state. What evil you think that bastard Alexei is going to perpetrate next? There's no way I'm letting Alexei get away with all the stuff he's done. Who cares about Alexei? Estelle. I want to save Estelle. Yes, but to do that, we need to take care of Alexei. And we need to come up with a better plan to do it. We can't let ourselves get blasted all the way back to Nor Harbor again. <sighs> well, we can't go anywhere till Carol gets better. So we might as well gather some info around town, don't you think? Good idea. Someone might end up saying just the thing we need to hear. Wasn't the innkeeper saying that someone important from the capital was in the mayor's house? Let's go and have a look-see. Old man? Someone's got to look after the boy, don't they? Leave that to me. You kids go on ahead. Oh, I'm so glad you were all safe. Huh. You did this right. Had the inn open its rooms free of charge? And just who are you? Watch your tongue. Do you know to whom you are... There are many who have escaped with only the shirts on their backs. I felt this was one service their country could provide for them. Hmm, okay. Actually, I'm more interested in what you can tell me about the capital. The capital? Zophius is no longer a city fit for any person. The city's barrier Blastia began giving off a great light, and the town was racked by earthquakes and lightning. However, the real terror came after that. A glowing fog appeared from the barrier Blastia and quickly spread throughout the city. The plants it touched grew hideously large, and the water became poison. It was hell itself. The air is out of control. Oh, that such dire events could befall Zophius, jewel of our glorious empire. If the air has covered the entire city, what is he doing to her? The, 
This is that turncoat Alexei's doing. I'm sure of it. He came to us demanding our obedience. And when we refused, he swore he would reduce us to dust. Alexei? That beast even had the gall to t turn the royal guard on us after we made our escape. Then how did you come all this way unharmed? Flynn held them off for us. It is thanks to him that we refugees arrived here safely. If he hadn't come to our aid just then, we all would have died. Oh, I'd love to hear more about how great Flynn is, believe me. But I haven't seen anyone from the lower quarter here. What happened to them? I'm sorry. I haven't seen anyone either. They must have been left behind, with all that air flooding out. It was all we could do to save ourselves. With all that was happening, we were unable to take everyone with us. We did all we could. You must understand. Oh, yeah? Hey. I'll be at the end. His Highness is. It sounds like the entire capital's been covered in air. And the one in the middle of it all is most likely. That's insane. If he's using Estelle to cause all of that, then... Oh, she can't handle that. Who knows how much of a toll it takes on her each time she's forced to use her power. She was already having problems controlling it. Now there's no telling what will happen to her. What if... What if we get there too late and... Even if we take out Alexei, she... Do... do you think maybe there's a way to get her power under control? There is. There has to be. We just haven't found it yet. Ah. Uh, hmm. Hey, what about the knights? Flynn's doing what he can, but it's not enough. They don't have De Nomos. Hmm. I'll try asking Pharaoh. It would be good to know how much time we have left. <sighs> Yuri! Hey, did we wake you up? How are you feeling? Looks like I slowed you guys down again. You're going to the capital, right? Don't worry about that now. We're still figuring out what to do. You just get better. Yeah, I just don't want to be left behind, okay? Our whole guild is going to rescue Estelle. I know. Why don't you try and get some more sleep, huh? Okay. I can't seem to reach him. The air may be causing interference. No big deal. Either way, it's just a matter of making Alexei sorry he ever started this, right? And nothing more? I'm going to go get some fresh air. Keep an eye on Carol for me. Yuri... What's with a long face? You don't need to worry about me. <sighs> a job nobody wants to do. Are you going out alone? I don't think that's any of your highness's concern. I want to know how things are in the lower quarter, so I'm just gonna go take a look. The council has decided to bring formal charges of criminal conspiracy against Alexei. 
The Knights are currently forming a strategy for re-entering the capital from Dayton Hold. With all that air in the city? <laughs> I doubt they'll get very far. Esteliz is with Alexei, isn't she? How did... So you caught on, huh? I wondered why you didn't bring her up earlier. What do you intend to do about her? What do you mean? All those who carry the Imperial blood possess a certain power. In most of us, it is too faint to be of use. But I have heard that hers is extraordinary. I'm sure it was for this reason that the Council threw their support behind her. Why are you bringing this up now? Isn't this current disaster being caused by her power? So what if it is? The Knights may have to... You are aware that defeating Alexei may not be enough. That's not going to happen. Because you'll do it yourself? Flynn told me about you, that you always try to carry far too much on your own shoulders. You can tell him that we'll be just fine without the help. But why? I thought I told you this isn't your concern. That sword. Perhaps you are just the person it was waiting for. Keep talking, and I'll try it out on you. Forgive me.